Hey everybody, Cursing Mushroom here, and welcome back to another Battlefront 2 video. Okay, so this video is going to be about the best class, okay, and the best class for you is what I mean. So if you find yourself looking towards specialist as a lone runner in the back of the map taking off people, then that's the class for you. In this video, I'm going to show you optimal build in terms of your star cards, weapon choice, and stuff to that nature. So, guys... If you want to, you can click the link above and check out the three other classes that I have in my four part series, or you can wait till the end of the video and click one of the cards if specialist doesn't seem to fit you. With that being said, guys, let's get into the clip about the stats. Okay, so let's talk about the specialist class ability details first. So you've got shot grenade, the default shot grenade that temporarily slows enemies down. It's a grenade that you throw and it shocks them and it makes them move slower so that way you can eliminate them faster. Infiltration, go behind enemy lines by becoming undetectable to enemy scanners, marking enemies and equipping a powerful medium ranged weapon. So it's like a medium ranged uh, pulse rifle. You, sh you know, it's like a three round burst or something to that nature. And you become undetectable to enemy radars. I like using it whenever I'm in trouble and I need to get out of a sticky situation. Improve thermal binoculars. An improved version of the thermal binoculars allows you to tag enemies and relay their locations to your teammates. So how this works is you can tag an enemy. Let's say there's someone far off and you want to tag them. It makes it easier for your teammates to see them because now it shows up on their mini map as well. Now in terms of my cards, my star cards, I use stealth. You remain hidden from scanners when firing and deal increased da melee damage. I like using stealth because I like to stay in the back. Or far away when I'm using specialists because I want to be hidden. I want to be like a ghost. So when I shoot, I don't show up. And then if someone happens to come up on me, I can melee them quickly and hopefully survive the battle. I've also got bodyguard, take reduced damage from explosions and toxins. So that way, if someone does happen to find me and they're not close enough and they try to spam me with grenades or something to that nature, I can survive them a little more efficiently. And then improved thermal binoculars. We just talked about that, about it being able to target enemies and stuff to that nature. So, with the weapons, I like using the Falcon. It seems like it does a little more damage. The A280 seems to do a little bit less damage, but it seems to fire a little faster. But when it comes to these, I recommend you using what's best for you. I do would like, excuse me, I would like to get the NT242 because its range and damage is great. It doesn't have much rate of a fire, but if you can land that shot, you can pretty much put your enemy down. And even this weapon here, the IQA, I'd like to get that one too, but I haven't got there yet. I haven't used the specialist or even the heavy as much as my other two characters because they're not as, it's not that they're not as good to me. They're not my favorites. Okay. So let's get back to the video. Okay, guys. So what's your thoughts on the specialist? Do you like the abilities that he brings? Do you like the cards that you can use, the star cards? For me, I only enjoy the specialist within certain scenarios. And that seems that way for the heavy and the specialist only. The assault and the officer, I can use them pretty much in any situation for the most part. But the specialist and the heavy, those are very, very situational to me. This map is great for the specialist because you can kind of, have you seen me here, just kind of hanging out in the back and find that top location where you can kind of hover above everybody and use your binoculars to find your enemies. Use that top, that top area where you can kind of hide and be a ghost, you know, like you want to be able to be incognito, use your binoculars, find the enemies and do work, you know. But like I said, it's not for every map. I mean, there's some maps that there's not even any, there, there's nowhere to snipe at. You know, you just pretty much can't kill anybody because they're so close to you, it's hard. I mean, you can't just like no-scope them or quick-scope them. It's not like Call of Duty where you can just get one shot and kill them. It doesn't work that way. Not with the guns that I have. So that's why I'm excited about some of those other weapons. But everybody, I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you stick around a little bit longer and watch the rest of the gameplay. I'm going to play some tunes, let you figure out if you enjoy it, if you haven't figured it out yet, if you haven't made up your mind yet, and if you haven't played with one yet. Also, you can comment down below and let me know if there's a different configuration of cards that you use or maybe a weapon that you like using that could maybe help me as well. I'm always, always for taking criticism or 
advice from someone else, so to speak. You know, not as much as, you know, people just ragging on me, but, you know, if you give constructive criticism, I'm going to take that in consideration. I will try it. And then I'll get back to you on it if I enjoyed it, you know. But guys, if you want to sub to the channel, hit that red bar down there. If you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the little bell next to the subscribe bar. So that way you can be notified when I post a new video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And gals, okay, I'm not discriminating. <laughs> But don't forget, guys, you can hit that card at the end of the video and it will let you see the playlist of all four characters or classes, so to speak. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the music. Hey, Maestro, play them tunes. Yeah.